for those of you who are taking thesis seminar, I wanted to spend a few minutes giving you a, a way to perhaps fix the problem you're having with the table of contents. Remember, we have three level of headings that are going to be picked up in the table of contents automatically. Most of you only have two level headings, but if you do have three level headings, they should they should update automatically. And remember that the three headings, according to the original template that we started with at the beginning of the semester, are titled Level 1 APA, Level 2 APA, Level 3 APA. Again, these are specially formatted headings that came with the template. So what I would suggest doing is copying the template that appears in our document in, uh, in Microsoft Teams, in SharePoint. Copy the template which should look like this. And then go into your document and simply copy and paste the text in each of the sections. So where you have these headings here, I would not replace these headings. I would manually type in again the title of your paper here and each of the sections that you have. Obviously, if you have four sections, you can copy and paste this heading to create a fourth heading, which is what I would do. So it also copies the font style. But within each of the sections, I would copy and paste your text, making sure that you're being consistent with the font styles using one of the acceptable fonts for according to APA 7th edition. Make sure Anytime you copy and paste, you need to make sure that you're going to that you're being consistent with the fonts throughout your text. But what you don't want to do is change these font uh, styles for the headings. Again, this is level one. These are level twos. And of course, if you only have two main sections here in your lit review, then you're likely to have a level three heading. And uh, level three heading, again, just create the heading and, and make sure that you're using a level three heading APA, this font style, as it appears here. So I would do that for each of the sections. Now, there is a typo here. You will have to manually change the two sections in uh, the method section so that the second after participants, it should read instruments and procedure, and then a third heading Data analysis, data analysis is capitalized, instruments and procedure, procedure is also capitalized. In fact, probably what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and change that here in the original template that I'll ask you to copy and paste so that it should be the way it needs to be. And basically what I'm doing here is what I would try to do even before doing what I'm suggesting now. If you've already tried to do this and it didn't work, then I would I would uh, try to copy and paste the template that I'm explaining here in this video. But again, I'm just going to make sure that I've got a level two heading here for for each, and make sure you always hit enter and then double check the text under each of your sections that you're in the normal font style. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of text in your table of contents. So again, hit enter, normal, enter, normal, and just delete this. this is a, you can always tell when there is a, a heading because you have this down arrow because this allows you to collapse and expand the text within each of the sections here. All right, so if you have text here, you can you can collapse and expand that. But this is what we want. So we have a level one. Again, the same idea in the results and discussion. Try to keep these headings and just replace it with your own headings and then copy and paste the text that you created in your original document into this new template. And same way with the references, copy and paste them over. But again, double check all of the font styles to make sure that you're being consistent with the font styles throughout your paper. Do the same for the for the appendix uh, section or the when you have all your appendices down at the bottom, then make sure that you have a page break so that the 
level one heading for the appendix appears at the very top of the page, and then you have a level two heading, again, according to these uh, font styles, so that all of your appendices ends up in the table of contents. And then once you do this, then rename the template with your full name and delete your other document. Now, again, I'm only suggesting that you do this if you're having issues, if you've tried everything to fix the problem with your table of contents. For whatever reason, if you've already gone through here and double-checked all of the headings to make sure that they have the correct font style, then this is one way to, I think, fix the issue here. So try this. Um, if you're comfortable with doing this, uh, try it and see if that, if that helps. The worst case scenario, if you end up, for whatever reason, accidentally deleting your document, we can always recuperate it and uh, see me right away if that happens. Uh, it does go into trash usually, so we can, um, there's a way to restore it. If it ends up in the trash, we can restore it back to how you had it. So again, only do this if you're comfortable with this change and if you're having issues. And if you uh, continue to have some issues, make sure you come by. Maybe we can look at it together and see, see if we can find a solution. But again, this is to try to get the table of contents to appear more or less as it appears here. One of the things I'm mentioning after all of your mock presentations is to go into your table of contents. One of the very last things to do once you've completed your paper, you have finished making all of the changes and you've updated the table of contents. The very last thing I would do is go into your second heading that appears here. Just click on it. And I'm not going to do it here, but you can manually delete this text and replace it with the phrase literature review. And I would capitalize literature and I would capitalize review so that you have the literature review title here, method, results and discussion, but the actual paper, you'll have your title here, not literature review. And I think it looks a little bit nicer here in the table of contents to have that label, the literature review label here, just to have, just to keep from having the title of your paper appear twice in the table of contents. So hopefully this will help uh, fix uh, the problem with updating your table of contents.